We've got Sue Pryor. Uh, we're talking about hospital staff. Let's talk about hospital patients as well and hospital visitors. And Sue's been uh, campaigning on behalf of those people. And also in the studio, we've got a nurse. Uh, we're calling her Jane. Her name's not Jane at all, but she's one of the nurses affected from the University of Wales Hospital. And she's uh, asked to be anonymous. Jane, why, why is it important for you to be anonymous in all of this? I mean, we're just talking about car park charges. I think it's just... It's, it's for a professional point of view, I could risk my pen, I could risk my job. OK, OK. Sue, how big a problem is this? Um, for the staff affected down in the Hospital of Wales and nationwide, it's horrendous. This company, Indigo, that we lost against in court last Friday... This is a private... They're a private parking company brought in by health boards. You know, there are many all over the UK. And um, they've taken legal action now against Wales and hospital in Scotland. There's been a lot of cases up there as well. So they're all coming in. The, the vultures are swooping. Let's just make it clear. So you're not a nurse. No, I'm not a um, nurse. So you, why did you want to get involved um, with this? Uh, I started um, helping people with unfair private parking charges and had um, quite a good success rate, you know, contesting them earlier on before court papers are issued. And when nurses came to me, because um, my children now are, my younger children are six and four. When they were born, they were both born completely blind. And had it not been for the NHS and the staff who dedicate their lives, my children would still be blind because I could not have right. afforded to fix that. Here's what I have against all of this. Instead of people being penalised, whether you're staff, whether you're a visitor, whether you're a patient, instead of being penalised, surely, first of all, they should be facilitated. Secondly, um, the NHS, are they making any money at all out of this, these parking charges? Well, they're pretty stupid if they're not, right? Totally and agree. And thirdly, the whole lack of planning to park, to have access to parking, surely is an important role within what a hospital does. Incompetence, I would put it straight right. down the line at the board. Jane, how does it affect your job? Uh, it's really hard. You need staff to be able to do your job. Um, so, but the, the fines that we've been um, charged are just completely inadequate. Um, Without you a already fine, pay... how much would it cost you uh, to deduct from your salary to to park throughout the year? About fifteen hundred pounds. Fifteen hundred pounds. Yeah. So they do they do get so, some subsidised yeah. spaces, Jane. So what has been the problem that you can't get into those? Yes. So basically, what happens is we already pay a fee one pound five p to park your car. Um, every shift you turn up on um, so they already we already pay that every one of our every one of our ones went to court we've already paid all that fees this is not about that they've charged us before not using valid permits well could I say Cardiff and Vale University Health Board say we have worked tirelessly on offering alternative modes of transport <laughs> to the site such as a park and ride scheme which seems a good idea to me why don't you avail of that? The park and ride scheme was only open two months ago, so when all these court cases came available, it wasn't running. Um, and also, the park and ride on only works certain hours, not the hours that we work. So this is the problem, isn't it, with a lot of hospital workers? It's the, sh it's the shifts. I mean, there might be, Sue, people watching saying, well, I work shifts, you know, I work in a factory, I work in offices or whatever, exactly. and I don't get free parking yes, or subsidised parking. it's not about parking. free parking. So what... What do you believe that this is this about? This is what about would you like to see predatory happen? issuing of tickets. This is about a health board issuing 8,500 permits when they only have 1,800 spaces for staff to use. Mm. You know, this is um, the, the, the standards, the industry standards are that you issue one and a half permits per space. They're doing it at five and six. It's ridiculous. The staff have been set up to fail. But you, you took this to court. We took this to court but and we lost. lost. We lost, now, yes. Why, why do you believe you lost? Why did the judge rule against you? Um, we were outgunned. Mm. You know, um, when all the staff, I started bringing them all together and collating all the data, I logged 1,500 tickets. You know, and I was up till four in the morning. You know, it's, I have other people supporting me, taking on different angles, but it's me doing all the grunt work so on the computer. So this is not just a few kind of serial offenders. This is a lot of staff. Oh my God, this is horrendous. This is affecting. Yeah, this is a lot of. I mean, two hundred and forty so mm. far that I've got, and not everyone's on Facebook. And what kind of fines in terms of money? Charges they are. Yeah. How, what, what are they owing now because well, of the tickets? Well, the only right the data collected by um, so the companies involved is indigo slaps a ticket on the car then there's a firm that many thousands of people in the country will know that 
make their guts churn when the post comes with ZZPS emblazoned all over them. And it's actually ZZPS that are doing all the paperwork for Indigo. It's actually ZZPS who instructed Wright Hassel in court. You know the, the Well, Indigo says the court ruling has justified their decision to take the, the action. Jane, I want to put this in human terms because there's no easy answer to this. There are too many cars, there are not enough spaces. This applies to the whole country that people keep trying to tell us is, is not overpopulated, but obviously either cars are too cheap or too accessible or there's something badly wrong. What do you suggest is an easy fix? I don't honestly think there is an easy fix. Um, you, you need staff to be able to make a hospital run. You can't run a hospital. It's okay them saying we we'll spend the money rather on car parking than equipment, but you need staff to actually work the equipment. Um, what if they had park and ride, Jane, that, that was 24 hours? That'd be, much, that'd be a start, yeah. massive start. Also, you've got to bear in mind that we, outside of hours, we also we have lives, we have childcare issues, so yeah, it's not yeah. just a case of public It requires public a chance. rethinking. Yeah. I mean, if we want this service, if we want this health service, we've got to think about car parking, because it's an essential part of all of this. Yeah.